Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about a concept in Linux known as Easter eggs. Now for those of you that are in both the gaming community and also like to look online for reviews uh, about movies and things like that, you're very well acquainted with the idea of Easter eggs. Easter eggs are sort of previews of things to come, hints of things that are going to happen, um, little extra things, little extra treats, so to speak. Well, because Linux is not run by a major corporation and is instead managed and contributed to by a bunch of individual content creators, programmers, and so forth, Linux has a lot of what they call these Easter eggs in it. Now, in the world of gaming, Easter eggs are very well known. Um, if you play a lot of video games, you know what an Easter egg is because games have them. They're sort of little treats if you do well, little hints here and there of how to do better on the game, things like that. Well, Linux, unlike Windows, which is run by Microsoft or Apple, uh, Linux, because it's open source, has quite a few Easter eggs. Today, we are going to look at the concept of Easter eggs in Linux by looking at two applications that are normally used for installing new software into Linux. Uh, and we're going to look how one of them has Easter eggs and the other one also has Easter eggs, although it will try to tell you that it doesn't. So let's go to the computer and see what we get. We're at the computer now. As you can see, I have a full screen terminal window open. This is Linux Mint we're running it in. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using uh, two applications that are normally used for installing software. This is just for demonstration purposes as the idea of Easter eggs is very, very common in Linux and a lot of commands have these Easter eggs built in. So let's start with the demonstration. Uh, the first command we're going to use is the apt-get command. apt-get is normally a utility in Linux for installing new software. So we're going to type in the apt-get command, apt-get. Notice that there are no spaces between the dash, the t, and the g here. Okay? To get our options for the apt-get command, because that's very often where the Easter egg hints are hidden, we're going to type space and then dash H for help. We hit enter. Okay, we get our list of different options we have. And I want to draw your attention to this command at the bottom here. Okay, you see it says this apt has super cow powers. Now, what are super cow powers, and why is the command here? Well, that's Linux's way of hinting to you that there's what they call an Easter egg hidden in the program. And in this case, it has something, we're not sure what, but something to do with super cow powers. So, normally you would have to sit and guess, well, what's a cow, and what's a cow power? I'm going to give you a hint for the purposes of demonstration. And what do cows do a lot? They moo. Okay, it's a common thing with cows. So let's see if we could unravel the Easter egg. So we type in apt-get apt -get, space. And instead of a software package to install, we're going to type in the word moo. We hit enter. Bingo. There's our Easter egg. We get a nice picture of a cow right here. Okay, you see right there, along with the word, have you mooed today? That's our Easter egg. And it doesn't do much. It's just one of those cute little things. Now, let's see where Linux could try to throw you off a little bit. Okay, an updated version of the apt-get command is an application called aptitude. So, let's type in app aptitude okay and again we'll type the dash h to get our help okay and here is our menu right here now interestingly enough 
on the bottom of this screen, it says, This aptitude does not have super cow powers. Now, they could be telling the truth. Maybe it doesn't. But if it didn't, why would it say anything? So, I'm going to bet my money to say that it does have something hidden there. And it's just trying to distract you to say that it doesn't. Another thing I want to point out to you, because we're going to be using it later on in the demonstration here, this one option here, V, okay, right there. Display extra information may be supplied multiple times. That's important later on. So we come back to the terminal command line here, and we type in aptitude space moo, okay? And... What it's telling you here is that there are no Easter eggs in this program right there. Now, is it that interesting that it's got to come out and tell you there are no Easter eggs? Well, I'm kind of willing to bet that there's more to it than meets the eye. So let's use our hint up here about the V command, okay, right here, along with the no Easter eggs. And let's see if we can't get it to give us a little more information here. So we're going to type in aptitude space dash V because it's an option now. Options got to be preceded by the space with the dash V space. The word moo again. We put that in and as you can see, it's saying something. Okay, there really are no Easter eggs in this program. So we're on to something here because it's responding. So, we're going to take advantage of our V again, and we're going to type in aptitude space dash V V, because every time we enter the command, we have to add a V. That's why it says up here, may be supplied multiple times, right there, multiple times. Okay, so we come back down here, space, and the word moo again. Enter. And here it's starting to get a little angry at us, okay? It's saying, didn't I already tell you there are no Easter eggs in this program? So it's telling you this definitely it's hiding something. So we're going to pursue it. Aptitude space dash V V V. We're up to three V's and the word moo. Okay, now it's telling us to stop it. Okay, we're hitting a soft spot here. So let's keep going. Aptitude dash V, 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 and a fourth V, space, moo. Okay, now I think it's getting ready to cave. Okay, it's saying, okay, okay, if I give you an Easter egg, will you go away? <clears throat> so I think we're starting to make some progress here. Okay, let's keep at it here. Aptitude space dash v v v v v space moo. Okay, and here, all right, you win. Right here, victory. And it gives us this weird looking picture. What it is, I don't know. Do you know what it is? Well, let's see if it'll tell us, because I don't think anyone else knows what it is either. So. We're just going to type in aptitude space dash. How many V's we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Moo. Okay. What is it? It's an elephant being eaten by a snake, of course. That's what it is. Okay. And I believe that's all it's going to be. Let's try it one more time. Okay, we'll put our dash, V, 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 at 6, and we add our number 7, Moo, and yeah, so it's just going to keep repeating itself. So that's an example of the concept of Easter eggs in Linux. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.